Hey everybody, Crazy Rocket Man here. I've been having a lot of people ask me to do build videos, and so I'm on my next build. So I'm gonna do probably three videos, probably two or three days apart during this build. And uh, it's really gonna be a fun one, and boy, is it gonna be fun to ride. So watch this. There it is. Three-wheeler. Actually, it's a mini bike three-wheeler. And it's two in one. It's gonna be a mini bike with two wheels and a trike with three. All I have to do is slide that axle out and put one of these tires in the middle and I've got a mini bike. So this is gonna be super fun. And it's really gonna be fast because this thing is about a quarter the weight of the famous uh, dragon cart there. And with one third less power, but it'll probably, boy, I don't know, probably do 70 or so. So I've got my mock-up engine in there. If you watched my last video where I had the meltdown, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was this motor. So I cut it apart. I'm gonna salvage a couple pieces of it, probably just the long pipes. But um, I've got it in this frame for a mock-up. And that's the way it goes. I mean, you, uh, you build a, you decide what you're gonna build and you've gotta have all your parts to set in to make so you can tell where things are, need to go. And so I've got it set in here for a mock-up. Now, right down here in front is one of the engines. Now there's two and they'll be welded together like that one over there. And uh, so this is the new engine set in here. So you can see all the, all the separate parts. All it is is, is just a bunch of hollow pipes. That's all a valveless engine is. There's nothing inside it. Just got a, uh, this is a, a little piece of half inch stainless fuel bar that'll go right through it. Has some little holes and stuff in it. And uh, the intake, so that's that's all there is. And uh, makes up somewhere around 45 pounds um, of thrust per engine. So it's up, you know, sometimes, sometimes up close to the 100 pound thrust range. And I'm running, uh, now normally like in the big cart here, right over there I've got a diesel tank on it. And I've got, uh, I've got the liquid propane back there and then I've got the starting propane over there which was, is vapor. So I'm not using two tanks on this. I'm going to keep it even lighter. Well, I've got one tank that is liquid propane but right there I welded a bung in there and so with my solenoid, that's my starting solenoid on top, I can pull out vapor from the top to start it and then open up the liquid which I've taken this out and put a tube in it that goes to the bottom so I'm pulling liquid out of it. Now, that, that's what I do. Um, I'm not telling anybody to, to modify a pressure tank. Uh, you know, pressure tanks full of fuel, <laughs> full of liquid propane is dangerous. So I wouldn't suggest anybody that you do that, but that's what I do. And I fill them myself, so I don't take them to a gas station and try to get somebody to fill them because, you know, it's just kind of not kosher to ask somebody to do that. So I fill them myself and it's real easy. I have a big tank and then I just have a patch cord that goes to it. So anyway, so let's look at the, uh, so my frame is just one inch tubing. It's fairly thick wall and it's, and it's uh, chrome molly. So it's, it's super light. Now, once I've got my engine all set in there, how I want it with all the pipes, you know, and all everything, and then I'll, I'll go in and I'll, I'll put a few more pieces of a pipe in there to, to stiffen it up a, a little bit. Um, but this one, so the way this one will work is I'll push a button and that solenoid right there will shoot gaseous propane into the engine and it'll start instantly. And then up here, I've got just a regular twist throttle. You can see there. And it'll go down, the cables from that will go down to a ball valve. that will be mounted somewhere under the seat or something like that. And the liquid propane will come out of here, go into the ball valve. And then when I open up the throttle, it'll just open that ball valve up and it'll let the liquid propane go into the engine. And so it'll have just regular throttle like you would have on, on any kind of a motorcycle. So that will be cool. I got, uh, this is a super cheap build for me because I, I had almost everything, hardly had to buy a thing. Um, I bought a, uh, I think a $25 actual mini bike seat. So it would look, look real, like a real mini bike. Um, just uh, inch and a quarter tubing here in in this in this right here it was just a just a just a uh, neck out of a regular old bicycle 
uh, somebody gave me a rec bike and I just cut that out. And then I had these parts here, water jet cut. They're just out of quarter inch, regular mild steel. And uh, so if you wanna make something like this, now it looks a little, you know, if you're, if you're not a fabricator, then it looks a little daunting. But if you have a, just a garage like I have, um, you know, I had some water jet things, water jet cut and that kind of stuff, but you don't have to do that. You can cut, you can cut out all this stuff with just a, with just a hand uh, grinder and a hot wheel. Takes a little while is all. And see these bends right here? So nice little beautiful bends I've got. I've got a, I've got a five or $600 bender over here, but you don't have to have that. And I've got a, I've got a notcher, a $500 notcher to, to notch my tubes, but you don't have to do that either. All you have to do is, if you wanna make a bend like that, you just take that piece of tubing over here to your, uh, to your vise, put it in there and take a torch. And I think I'll actually do a video. So you can see how easy it is. You can take that, take that piece of tubing, put it in here and take a big torch. It's just a weed burner but it heats up really, really fast. It's not like a benzene torch, it takes quite a while. So it'll heat it up and I'll show you how to bend nice, perfect bends. You can't just, you can't just heat up a tube all red hot and just pull on it and have it bend and make a light, nice bend. There's, there's a trick to it, but it really isn't any big deal and anybody can do it just in their, in their garage. So yeah, so this is gonna be my, uh, so it'll have the, it'll have the, the twin engine in it there and when I want to turn it into a mini bike, I'll just pull that axle out and I'll put that small axle that you see down there in it. And then it'll be a mini bike. It'll probably only take about 20 minutes to, to change it over. And so when I get my, I'll get my other parts. I just had parts for one engine right now. I'll get my other parts probably tomorrow and I'll build that engine and then I'll start setting it in here and I'll get new videos up so you can see the progression. Should only take till, oh, I don't know, four or five days, and I'll probably have it done. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty quick build. It's, it's nowhere near as involved as, as uh, the big cart here. But it will probably keep up with this. And boy, is it gonna be fun. Especially when, it, when it's a three-wheeler, of course, you, you know, you're pretty stable out, uh, out on the dry lake. But when it's a mini bike, I'll probably wear my, uh, my helmet on my head. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be one uh, wanting to uh, ride the mini bike with that big engine on it on the back with one hand. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a few days.